a lawyer, a teacher, a doctor, a self-styled social worker, the husband of a former serpent and one who ran a hotel are among the 11 convicts in the Bilkis Banu gang rape case from the 2002 Gujarat riots who have been granted remission in their life sentences by the Gujarat government and who walked out of the Godhra jail on 15th August. The remission comes in a year which will see Gujarat vote for a new assembly. Convicts and their kin maintain innocence, while Banu's extended family, who still live in Singhwad, say there is always a cloud of anxiety over their heads. A mob at Gujarat's Randikpur village gang raped Banu and, according to the prosecution, killed 14 members of her family, including her three-year-old daughter Saleha, while they were fleeing during the Gujarat Godhra riots in March 2002. Banu had been 19 and five months pregnant at the time. She later named people from her village Singhwad as the accused, 11 of whom were convicted in 2008, while one died during the trial. The convicts and their kin, however, pushed claims of being innocent and being made scapegoats by political opponents of Narendra Modi, then Gujarat Chief Minister. Radesham Shah, one of the convicts, told the print that people from NGOs at the relief camp Bilkis Banu was housed in allegedly implicated them. He also said that what happened with Bilkis Banu's family was very wrong, it doesn't fit in his culture and upbringing, but maintained that he and the others didn't have anything to do with it. उसमें तो क्या था कि ये गांव में पूरे गांव में वकील था वो और अच्छी उसका टैक्सी वगैरह था तो उसके धंधे के हिसाब से भी और भी कुछ कारण हो सकते किसी के मन दुख का तो उसके हिसाब से कुछ हो सकता है About two kilometers away from the village center at the house of Govind Nai, another of the now released eleven. There was a sense of normalcy when the print visited Thursday. Govind Nai wasn't home while Nai's son said it is a closed chapter for them. He said his father was a teacher in a government school in a nearby village before the incident. Singhwad residents claim Bano's family lived peacefully in the village until 2002, though some recall minor bickering with other residents now and then, the kinds which is not uncommon between neighbours, they clarify. Many of the convicts use these reasons as suggestions for why they may have been implicated. These include rivalries during Sarpanch elections with Shailesh Bhatt, a convict having dislodged a Muslim Sarpanch, or the wife of Ramesh Chandana, another convict winning the election later, campaigning against a candidate popular among Muslims. Another convict, Bipin Zoshi, known in the village as Lala Doctor, supposedly treated Bano's father but he did not pay for the medicines. Zoshi's unkempt house at Singhwad has been empty for years. Villagers said a few years after his arrest, his family moved to Vadodara. Before the family fled Singhwad during the riots, Pano's father Abdul Ghaji ran a business supplying buffalo milk in the village. A few years after the 2002 incident, Ghaji leased his house to some people from outside the village to run a garment shop. Behind the shop is a bare grey house where Pano's uncle Ayub still lives with his family. We used to shoot the cane and we used to shoot the cane. And the parents were scared of the cane. Now they were scared of the cane. They were scared of the cane. हम मिलते नहीं उनके परिवार से लेकिन हमारे को उनसे डर है जैसे पहले हमारे साथ बन चुका है 2002 में हमारे इंसान मारे गए हैं। While Ismail Khachi said they did not maintain any relations with the families of convicts, Shah's family paints a different picture. बचपन से हम लोग जानते थे जो भी किसका भाई था वो हमारे साथ ही खेलता था। उनके यहाँ हम लोग दूध बहुत लेने भी जाते थे। ऐसा कुछ हमारे हैं नेपाल में और अभी भी उनके काका शायद यहीं रहते हैं हाँ यहीं रहते हैं उनके साथ भी आपका रिलेशन अच्छा है कोई जाति कुछ भी I am about 45 kilometers away from the Singhwad village, the state of Gujarat, where Bilkis Banu and her family once lived. This is also where most of the 12 men convicted of gang raping her have returned to after uh, the Gujarat government granted them a remission in their life sentences. The family of those convicted say that their kin were innocent and that they have always maintained good relations with Bilkis Banu's family. While Bilkis Banu's immediate family has moved out of the village years ago, the extended family that still stays at Singhwad says that while things are normal, there's always a cloud of anxiety hanging over their heads. Uh, the rest of the village doesn't want to talk about the case at all and would rather move on. Reporting for The Print, this is Mansi Fadke.